As we wait until the release of Horizon 3, there are many questions that still have us all eager to play, tantalizing mysteries that keep us coming back to this sci-fi franchise. Though many surprises are sure to be awaiting us in the last chapter of this trilogy, some big clues have been left behind to decipher from previous games. So now, let's explore three key story hints for the third horizon. Number 1. Altered Machines When it comes to Horizon, an ever-changing machine ecosystem has been present since the fall of Gaia. From this derangement, without its governing AI, Hephaestus has continued to create more aggressive and dangerous machines. Both modified terraformers and hunter-killers have plagued the tribal population that has relied on their materials and resources since humans were first released from their cradle facilities. Though this trend began some 20 years past from Horizon's present day, you should expect a massive departure from what we've come to know. During the assault on the Zenith base, in order to combat the army of Spectre drones, Beta injected a captured Hephaestus into their printing matrix. More advanced and powerful than any cauldron, the subfunction rapidly manufactured slaughter spines and thunder jaws, helping to clear the way for Aloy and her team. The plan was ultimately successful, but had some unfortunate consequences. Hephaestus was once again able to escape captivity, and will need to be dealt with in some way if Gaia is to have full control over ZD systems once again. To add further clarity, in the Burning Shores companion data point, Probing the Graveyard, Silence speculates on the ramifications of what transpired. Second Entry My analysis of the base's printer matrix confirmed my suspicions. The structure self-destructed after the battle, a parting gift from Hephaestus most likely. Perhaps in time it could be repaired, its functionality restored. Obtaining the necessary materials for such a task will not be trivial, however. The subordinate function itself has undoubtedly returned to the global cauldron network where it will fortify its defensive measures to prevent recapture. Even if Gaia secures a workaround for Hephaestus' functions from the Apollo database, the AI remains an unknown factor. Its brush with Zenith technology may have evolved it in unforeseen ways, a problem for another day. Just as Hephaestus was able to write Alpha Clearance out of its access module, now that it's been exposed to Omega Clearance, it will most likely attempt to do the same with Pharaoh's trump card. If successful, recapturing the subfunction will be an even steeper task than it was the first time. Even more concerning is the possibility of how Hephaestus may approach designing and manufacturing machines after utilizing Zenith tech. We could potentially see more self-repairing, agile, nanotech-augmented machines than ever before, a threat even the most experienced machine hunters will ultimately be woefully unprepared for. So expect, even with machines we know all too well, to be altered and far more dangerous than ever before in Horizon. Number 2. Expanded Military Technologies Through both games, ancient military tech has been pivotal to the overarching story. Pharaoh Automated Solutions and its chariot line machines are by far the most prevalent, with others mentioned, but it looks like we should expect more in the franchise's next installment. As potential solutions to combat Nemesis, in the Burning Shores data point, Dagger in My Boot, Walter Londra speculated on what available means might exist on Earth to combat the rogue AI. According to the Zenith, he believed the answers might lie in the remnants of military conglomerates of the 2050s and 60s. Undiscovered R&D labs, unknown by Nemesis, that might contain some prototype that could be its silver bullet. FAS is mentioned, along with two others that we are semi-familiar with. Metallurgic International, a chief competitor of Heaven Sent, is said to have pivoted away from resource acquisition and towards the defense sector. And ReCorp, one of the industry giants in robotics before FAS became prevalent, once had a blue-chip research division that could hold answers. The other two brought up by Walter, we know much less about. Certain T who are said to have employed semi-reformed black hats with a focus on military decryption, a means to potentially hack Nemesis or weaken its defenses to create an opening. And finally, Gideon, a family that developed a number of state-of-the-art systems before Pharaoh came to dominate the sector. 
Either way, an interesting glimpse into Walter's thought process, and one that should steer Aloy to more secrets from the ancient past. Number 3. Ancient Ghost Much like in Horizon Zero Dawn, the Banuk shaman Bryn left us with more portents and prophecies to decipher in the burning shores. A mural in the Banuk style and the data point, I warn you, left behind it. From the perspective of an Osram who discovered it, he tells of Bryn's mutterings before they leave the scene, the most interesting of which is the whispers of an ancient ghost rising in the east. Now, I did a deep dive into what I feel this could mean for both the third game and Horizon lore as a whole, but in short, I think this is most likely a reference to another AI that will come into play in the third game, one that has been here on Earth for a very long time. Cyan is personally one of my favorite characters in Horizon, so to hopefully get another AI within the story, potentially one that could combat Nemesis, could make all the difference. For my money, as far as speculation is concerned, I believe these three hints left for us to find are the most likely to have meaningful ramifications in the next game. Changing machines, undiscovered technology, and ancient AIs all have the hallmarks of a fascinating Horizon-style mystery. But if there's any thoughts and theories that you'd like to share, be sure to comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and keep questing. And that brings our journey to an end. If you'd like to see more content like this, likes and shares are always appreciated. And if you're hungry for more Horizon lore, consider subscribing and checking out the rest of our lore library. Also, be sure to check out our Discord community and membership program to unlock exclusive content on the lore of Horizon. And once again, thanks for watching, and keep questing.